Good morning, everybody. Today is the day of the Olivia Rodrigo concert. I'm so excited. Guts World Tour, painted nails. I'm very excited. I'm just like, yes, the sun is shining and Guts Deluxe is out. I've been listening to the bonus, like not bonus tracks, but like the deluxe tracks. So good. They're just, they're so good. There's, she just, I don't think she has a bad song. I really don't. I just don't. So I got this shirt. I got this in a size small. And um, I have this Guts World Tour t-shirt. Okay, so cute. So what I was thinking is either doing like a white, I wanna maybe layer it and do like a white t-shirt underneath. And then I did get this, which I think this is kind of, like I'm kind of leaning towards this because it's purple and you know cute. And then I was thinking about just maybe putting a t-shirt under this. And then I also got this at Hot Topic as well, which is kind of like a cropped sort of thing. And I was maybe gonna do a, a purple, tank top underneath it but I realized I don't have a purple tank top so I don't know why I did that but so yeah I don't know I'm gonna have to see I'm just gonna have to try stuff on so that's what I got I am going to probably start getting ready it's only 10 45 right now we don't have to leave probably till I would say probably five here because it's about an hour away so maybe we'll leave it like 4 30. okay my hair is done <laughs> it's kind of wild right now so I'm just letting it sit letting it sit by the way this is the shirt I'm wearing I'm kind of doing like a punk rock, you know, layered moment with it because that's all I could come up with because all my other outfits were not looking too good. So um, I'm going to do my makeup right now and I think I'm going to use this Anastasia little mini sultry palette. I think this is a really good cool tone. And then on top of that, I'm going to use this NYX glitter in the shade Crystal and probably some of this um, Patrick Ta. I think I saw Olivia Rodrigo using actually holographic glitter. Like, I think she wears it during the concert, so that's what's going on. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh wait, I do have another glitter too. I have this lemon, ooh, you know what? This might be kind of a good one. You know what? I think I might use this. This Space Paste, I ordered this, and I feel like this is perfect. Um, so yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do that actually instead. I might combine a little bit. These are pretty much the same thing, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna start with a base. I'm not pinning my hair back because if I pin my hair back, Right now with all the hairspray I put in my hair, it creates little creases. So I wait like 15 minutes before I do that. here's the makeup so I did a very smoky eye I'm probably gonna change my lip and do something a little bit more like I think cool tone probably my I'll use probably my covergirl lipstick that I always use but this is the eye look so kind of like that sultry this is the palette I think I said that a million times but I use this palette and then I did end up using actually a lot of this mostly this actually the NYX glitter I do have these gems I could also use somewhere I don't know where I would use them so that means I probably won't use them I'm gonna have to probably redo my bangs a little bit but yeah that's my makeup look cool so I'm gonna show you my outfit next all right here's the outfit so I've got my black cargos I've got some Converse and I bought this belt off Amazon it's just one of those like studded you know belts this shirt's Hot Topic you can get one of these belts too at Hot Topic as well. And then I have just like a black, this is Old Navy, just a black shirt underneath. I rolled the sleeves up as well just so it was kind of, you know, girlier. And then I've got a choker on. <laughs> I think it's a cute touch. Am I trying too hard? Perhaps. But yeah, and then I've got all my bracelets on to trade. I've got 
just my clear bag, my black clear bag that I bought off of Amazon. So I've got in here um, a fan. I have a uh, phone charger as well. And then I've got um, just two little star pins just in case. And then I have some bracelets for Jarvis as well. I need to go get my wallet <laughs> and put that in there. And then I think I'm gonna pack in the car like a snack and maybe I'll put some water in the car just for after the concert and maybe like a liquid IV or something. And I'm trying to think of what else. I need to put my lipstick in there and maybe some powder, like um, foundation powder. It did start raining, so I think I'm gonna try to find a, I have a, just like a quarters, like a full zip sweatshirt I think I'm gonna wear, cause it's still a little bit chilly. And I think I'm gonna bring that, so in case like, I don't want my hair to get all messed up walking in. Can't wait, excited. And I feel like this is just like a really comfortable outfit as well, like so comfortable. And I told Jarvis I wanna go early because I really, I'm very particular about the merch truck because that was my big mistake the first time at the Taylor Swift concert, which obviously who could have predicted that the merch would go that crazy. And I don't think it's gonna be the same for this. I really don't, but I just really wanna be sure. And like, that's a big part of the experience for me is like getting all the merch and stuff. <laughs> like, you know me, I'm a merch fiend. So that's definitely something that I wanna do and you know, have enough time to do. And But oh my God, her song that is new, which is, no one's ever heard before. People have heard the other bonus tracks before that are on the deluxe version. It, like Obsessed is really big and she just released that one. But people have heard that because it's on the vinyls. So it's kind of like the Taylor Swift thing where if you buy some of the vinyls, like Target for example, we'll have a couple bonus tracks on some of them. So there was like one bonus track on each different one. So I actually had not heard, I had only heard Obsessed. I had not heard Scared of My Guitar. I had not heard that one. I had not heard Stranger, but her new song, it's her first like love song called So American. Probably one of my new fave songs. It's just, it's a feel good love song. I love it, I love it. So, all right everybody, we're heading out officially to the concert. I'll keep you updated on the way. Wait, this is happening. <laughs> I'm second guessing the choker as I get closer and closer. No, I'm gonna stay strong. I'm gonna leave it on. But I just want to say, I have not done any spoilers. I've been intentionally avoiding most of the show, so I can be surprised tonight. I just, I keep forgetting to say that, but I wanted to say that. So I'm avoiding it. I don't really know. I know that it's like all the songs that I love are on the set list, but I don't know what order. I don't know like the dances. I don't, I don't know anything that's going to happen. Anyway, we're going to probably eat at a restaurant. We're very early. The doors don't open until 630. So we're going to stop at this one restaurant we've been meaning to go to. It's a vegan restaurant called Fourth and States, I think. Fourth, fourth and what? I don't know, but we're going there right now. So. So we just ate and now we're heading over and it should be pretty good timing. We'll see what the parking situation. This is like the part of concerts that I just, <laughs> I really just get anxious about is the parking and then the leaving after. But I'm hoping because this is an arena and not like, you know, the Taylor Swift stadium. I feel like I just have, I have like a lot of <laughs> just my worries after that experience because it's just so crazy but hopefully this won't be as nuts but our waitress actually said she just started listening to olivia rodrigo so she was very excited that we were going
All right, just got all my merch. Oh my God, it was so easy. The line wasn't even that bad. And wait till you see our seats. They're insane. So I got this t-shirt, so cute. I got, well, Jarvis got this t-shirt and I also got this t-shirt and I got this Guts crew neck. And I got the hat and I got the butterfly bag as well. <laughs>
I'm in here post concert. I didn't trade a single bracelet. A lot of people weren't trading them. I was kind of surprised. I should have given them away, but I was kind of nervous, honestly. Oh my God. I feel like that concert was amazing. I honestly personally rated a 10 out of 10. Jarvis said he rated it about like a nine out of 10. And it was just the perfect length. I mean, it's like, she only does like two hours. She does all of her top hits. like. Every song that she plays, Bill, Bill, he freaks out when we're gone, like even for a little, <laughs> even for a little bit. You're okay. You're okay. We're home. You're gonna be okay. But it's just a perfect length and like all the songs that she plays. I mean, she played all the hits, Deja Vu, like from Sour too. And then obviously played everything from, from Guts, obviously. Plus she played Obsessed and she played... The Hunger Games, Can't Catch Me Now song. She played like all the hits from, you know, Sour, Driver's License, Good For You, Deja Vu, Happiness, Brutal. I mean, everything, Traitor, everything, like everything, everything. She, it's just, she just has so many hits and it's just, every song is good. So it's just banger after banger. I, I filmed the whole concert. I mean, I filmed the entire concert and I probably looked really crazy and just like one of those people where people are like, Oh, you suck. You're, this is the kind of concert person like live in the moment. But honestly, for me, I get so much value out of rewatching these videos because I honestly just don't remember. I don't have a good memory, so I don't remember what I'm watching. So I need to I need to film it because I just I rewatch my concert videos constantly, constantly, constantly. So anyway, and Jarvis got the best videos, and because he has he bought a um, like a Google Pixel, and I have to say the camera is. It is 10 times better. So he got some really great videos. So I need him to send me those so I can put them in my video. It was just so fun. And and the opener, we loved the, we were listening to the opener on the way home. Travis like, was like really impressed. Um, so her name was Chapel Roan, Chapel Roan. Honestly, probably the best opener that I have personally seen ever at a concert. Everybody in the con in the audience was engaged in like newer songs and were, she had, she was really engaging everybody and had them do different things and like, you know, interact in different ways. And I just felt like I was like really impressed by that. And I really liked her songs too. I was like, I actually went home and I was, I in the car, I, I added some to my, my likes on my Spotify, but it was just a really good and it was so easy to get in and out cause it's arenas and Honestly, I think I'm a little bit traumatized by the Aero Store. <laughs> like, just because it was just so hard, so hard to get in and out, to park. Like, this parking, we parked a block, not even a block away in a uh, parking, whatever, one what of those things called, parking garage. Then we, like, got out extremely easy. There was no traffic. In so easy and there's no traffic getting out we just got right on the highway and came home so and we're home before 12 right now yeah i was really just like wow everything was smooth the merch oh my god you guys i wasn't planning on getting this much stuff but <laughs> i had to do it it was just such a blast and like the music's good i just i love i love her i really do so listen to um guts deluxe everybody and listen to so american such a great song oh my god but I have one more story I just need to tell you really quick and I might cry talking about this because we were walking out of the concert and for, oh, first of all, oh, by the way, I just want to say this as well. The outfits were so stinking cute. Everybody, I mean, it's just a sea of purple. So many cute, like sparkly outfits and, you know, pops of red and black and 
so people just nailed it. Like she has such a specific style and everybody was kind of in that like grungy, you know, purpley. I just, I love to like see it. Honestly, I just love to see it. Cause we were all, honestly, a lot of us were all kind of wearing the same thing. And I just kind of, I just like that. But anyway, so here's my story I just had to tell you. So we're walking out and <sighs> towards like the parking garage. And there was this, she was probably 15 and she was with her dad and they were both walking out together. It was just the two of them. You know, we're walking to the parking garage and it was kind of, like I said, it was about a block away. And so we got kind of like to a stretch of walking where we had kind of created some space between like the big crowds of people. So it was just Jarvis and I behind her and her dad. Well, she was walking with her dad. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. Actually, sorry, I'm actually gonna cry. <laughs> it's like kind of cringe, but it was so wholesome. She was like, Dad, thanks so much for this experience. I'm crying. And it was just like unprompted. I mean, he didn't prompt her in any way to say it. And she's like, I had a lot of fun tonight. Thank you so much for this experience and, and taking me. He goes, well, thanks so much for inviting me. And it was just her and her dad. And I was like, oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like literally sobbing crying. <laughs> it was so sweet. She was just so grateful. And are you kidding me? I actually have tears were rolling down. <laughs> You could just tell that he raised her right. And it was just like a, such a sweet, there were so many dads. And then we got on the elevator with both of them actually. And he was just like a hot, like a happy guy. But we got on the elevator and I saw he was wearing an Olivia Rodrigo shirt. And I was like, that is so sweet. It, it was just, it was so wholesome. It was so sweet. It's just like, anyway, it reminds me of something my dad would do for sure. He would do something similar to that. And I was like, oh my God. I love it. I just love stuff like that. So anyway, okay, I'm crying in a concert vlog, <laughs> but so whole, just wholesome scenes everywhere I went. So there was a lot of parents and stuff too. I saw people, somebody's grandparents brought them and they were wearing a Louis Rodrigo bird. I just think that's the greatest thing in the world. So anyway, take your kids to concerts if you can, because what a great experience, you know? So anyway, I have to say this too. Thanks to Jarvis for letting me have that experience as well. There he is. I am really grateful. So that was a really fun night. So I'll update you a little bit more, but that's it. Hope you guys have enjoyed the Guts World Tour concert vlog. And um, that's about it. So 